What's up, you fucking mongoloids and piss flaps? Today, we're going to be talking about one thing and one thing only. So, there comes a point in every good man's adult life when he takes the balls out of his wife's purse, decides he's going to get himself a Mopar. These are going to be eight things that you need to know before you go and get yourself a Mopar. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead. Of everything you know that you can get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I want for Now the first thing on your road to being a Mopar owner, you're going to have to have the feel, personality, look of just general superiority of your fellow Chevy and Ford owner. You are not going to be afraid to shotgun beers. You are not going to be afraid to run bare naked through a mud bar. You are going to be an American today. You know, I'm just a, just a big, hairy American winning machine. And on top of this, first things first, you need to stay hydrated. Now this, this is Budweiser, this is king of the beers. You're getting into the king of cars. So why wouldn't you drink Budweiser? Are you a communist? You say you're French? Now for your Canadian fellas, you might call this Bud Heavy. I think that's pretty messed up, but we'll let them go. There's too much uh, maple syrup running through their blood to, you know, be able to think illiterate and everything like that. Goddamn native Canadians. Once you have that look down, you're starting on your path. Step two, owning a Mopar. You have to realize that you, while you're driving the most superior cars, you're gonna need a superior carburetor. This, this is the Holly. This is what most Ford and Chevy guys get away with and it's fucking garbage. Look, junk, junk, junk. So we'll throw it away. This here, kink carburetors. This is a Carter Thermoquad. Whether you need to sip gas or haul ass, this is the carburetor you need. I wanna go fast. Step three, coming to Mopar owner. You're gonna need to carry these three things around you at all times. This is your ignition module. Like I said, this is not a communist car, so we aren't running no Chevy HEI. We're running a Mopar ignition system like God and Hank Williams intended. This is a ballast. You're gonna fry these at least probably once every five years. Keep them in your glove box, right next to your ignition module. Now, this is a voltage regulator. Cause you know what? We aren't running no one wire GM alternators. This is a freaking Mopar, son. Next step, being a Mopar owner. This is your wallet. Get used to it being empty. As you can see, it went from fat stacks to no stacks. That's just part of being a Mopar owner. Next step, you're gonna have a vast amount of cars, so you're gonna need parts cars, parts trucks, everything. Because, just like potato chips, you just can't have frickin' one. Next steps between owning a Mopar, and this is probably the most important one white lettered tires. It is a criminal sin in at least 49 out of the 50 states to buy a white letter tire and put the white letters on the inside. You are spare parts, aren't you, bud? And finally, staggered tires. You need to run like at least, at the maximum, 6 inch wide tire in the front and an 8 or 10 inch on the back. 14 by 6, 15 by 10, the way God and Hank Williams intended. Yeah, so that's the things you need to know about buying a Mopar. Just remember, stay in your lane, bud. You ain't trying to change the fucking wheel. 
It ain't gonna happen. So, get rid of your El Camino, sell the Ford Pinto, get rid of the goddamn minivan. If you got a Prius, it just ain't gonna work for you, bud. Is that a huffy? That's a nice looking bike, boy. Oh, so, yeah, that's my little facts for the day, because I do the most, you know, the best thinking while I'm drinking. Most importantly of all, for those of you who are paying attention, which I hope to God you are, this is Dutch Guy's Garage. They don't move until you do. Like, on a scale of one to America, how free are you right now? Well, what do you say we get thrown out of an Applebee's? Yeah! Okay.